Last night, I hopped into Days Gone. I spent about three and a half hours into the world. I received Days Gone as a gift in 2019 when it released, and I got into it for the first uh, 45 minutes. And then I hopped off for whatever reason. I had so many other games that I was playing, so many other things that I was doing at the time that I couldn't finish it. So it took me one year when the pandemic hit, the great pandemic of 2020. It hit, I was at my house, I was bored, I was looking for something to play. I hopped into Days Gone. It was fun, it was scary, it made my skin crawl. And I can truly say that Days Gone was one of those games that every time that I heard one of those freakers like, going crazy and start chasing you and you would hear them in the woods or you would feel a horde. I don't know that I got goosebumps like I had before in Days Gone when I heard about the horde coming because when the horde came, it was hell. <laughs> it was hell. It was crazy. Um, and really the point is that I've heard a lot about Days Gone over the last couple years since its release. Uh, sadly, we won't be getting a Days Gone sequel that has already been announced. That's already been said. Sony didn't want to greenlit a sequel and I started thinking why not I mean, it was it was decently received when it came out. I know there was some hate. I mean, there always is. There was uh, it came out buggy um, it, because it was such a big game with so much. The horde and everything aspect would make maybe the frames drop. It was for the PS4. So there was a lot of difficulties with that. And I understand that. And now after releasing on PC and you have it on the PS5, it's 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 realizing its potential. You know, it's it's really good. It's you know, I've seen some mods that they've done now uh, for the PC where they they're playing as some of the characters from the Walk Walking Dead, they're doing some, they're like in a big snowstorm and it, it just, it looks so cool. It looks so fun. And if you have a PC and you're playing Days Gone on PC or you're thinking about getting it, I would go for it because you have even more options and more fun things to do while playing the game. I believe the world that Ben Studios created in the day, in Days Gone is breathtaking. It really is. The, the shots from the mountains, the shots of the trees, the shots of the open road and the messes that, that the freakers have left behind, uh, the camps, everything. Everything that the game has to offer is so beautiful. The animals that are, are running around the forest. It's a its a beautiful, frightening, chilling game. You know, sometimes you have to go in caves where you find <laughs> a humongous horde and, and you have to you have to find a way to kill them in there. It's fun. It gets your blood pumping. You know, other things that you can do is uh, you go through tunnels and the tunnels are usually very scary. They're very dark. You have a little flashlight. You can walk them very, very slowly and make it even more intense. Or you can try to run through them and, and and just destroy everything in your path. There's so many ways that you can tag the game. Um, it's a brilliant little game. It's a brilliant little game. And I know that it has received, again, it's hate. And um, there's some people that are never going to like it. And there's some people that are going to crap on things just because they want to, because they like to. I'm a person that likes to appreciate games. I want to love a game. I want to enjoy it. I know people put hard work into it. And for the most part, I'm never really going to hate on a game. Now, there are except exceptions. Absolutely. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I absolutely hate the Saints Row that released last year because it was a disappointment. And I don't want to get into that because it's going to piss me off. But yeah, they, that 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 was bad. That was actually bad. But something like Day is Gone, you know, I don't know that Sony has failed recently with a lot of Sony. It's exclusives, you know, they they usually hit it. They usually are on the mark. And I, I don't think Day is Gone wasn't a hit. For some reason, it just didn't connect. Now, I was reading and doing some research and some of the stuff that I found on the internet, for example, I found in the Steam community, somebody said the game failed because it was a boring, generic zombie game in a sea of other zombie games that do that did little to make it stand out among its own completion, com competition competition bro what are you talking about man i'm sorry plus it had bugs dying light added parkour which helped elevate it from being generic so i guess maybe if days gone had some parkour it would have worked you know <laughs> then you have somebody else that said um in the gamer in hindsight days gone was a game out of time Deacon St. John was a protagonist who has no place in modern day in modern gaming landscape, which likely explains why he and his redneck biker ways were Oh brother, this guy stinks! Were forgotten so quickly. It didn't resonate with people. Not because it wasn't woke, but because we'd seen it all before and didn't care. Maybe that's true. Maybe you felt that way, but I didn't care. I mean, what does him being a quote unquote redneck biker have to do with anything? You're always a new character. You're always somebody different. They have their own histories, but that's the point of getting into a game, right? When you you jump into a game you're jumping into a new world you're jumping into a vast world you're jumping into something different you're jumping into places you've never been to a new century you get what i mean that's the whole point you know so i've been a biker i've been a, a race car driver i've been a wrestler i've been a gangster you know we've been everything in games so i i don't know i don't know that i that i that i that you um you had you 
you would that I agree with that. You know, I think Days Gone is it, it's a beautiful game in the sense that the graphics look great. You know, the graphics are great. And one look, I'll tell you, I, I'm jumping a lot from topic to topic, but just follow along, please. A year and a half ago, I was watching a video on Days Gone, and the guy said something like, uh, "Deacon Saint John was like a really lame character, and he tried really hard to be a badass, but he was just really lame." You know, maybe some people just didn't resonate with the character. You know, I, I think if you dive into the story, he has a goal he he has gone through stuff and we all deal with things differently right and now if you look up days gone or if you look up days gone underrated you find hundreds of videos from so many different creators that are praising the game um some creators love the game from the very beginning some creators that didn't like the game now we're going back to the game and they're enjoying it now they're saying that it's a masterpiece now it's saying that it's worth it now they're saying that it's underrated and if you start looking at more recent games uh days gone is one of the most underrated games of all time in recent memory because so many people are coming back to it and sometimes you maybe need something to sit and to marinate for a little bit before it's appreciated but i think there's a beautiful story in the game with a really one of the prettiest open worlds it's truly breathtaking when you just walk around and you admire how huge everything is how ridiculous everything is and I, that i haven't even gotten into the combat the combat is extremely smooth i did a new game plus um just to try it out again and those three hours that i spent was in new game plus and just using some of the newer weapons that you get later in the game in the beginning and um the you know uh, the rolling and the shooting and the running um it's really 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 good um i'll say one thing you know if I, there's one thing that maybe i personally didn't like too much was when we were going into cutscenes from gameplay to cutscenes i would get to a spot and it felt very randomly like it would cut to black and then the cutscene would start kind of how it used to happen um but it just seemed a little odd and also the very beginning of the game i felt like it started off a little too fast like it dropped us right in the middle of the freakers going crazy and sarah was injured but i think it happened too fast like i know that the story continues to develop and continues to expand as you go on but i wish just at the very beginning there would have been a little bit more maybe a little bit slower maybe you could have controlled your character a bit i think that's the only like thing that i wish would have been different about the game but i was so down for a days gone too and after i had finished it back in 2020 I thought that a sequel for Days Gone was written in the stars. I thought that it was it was inevitable. You know, I thought it was going to happen. And when I found out and realized that they didn't, and then I started seeing some of the comments regarding the game and why some people thought that it didn't work because, you know, they were blaming the woke agenda and other things and there might be truth in it there might not be truth in it i don't know i just wish or actually what i do know is that days gone is a great game with amazing graphics with very fun 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 combat it's really fun it truly is fun i i had forgotten how fun the combat is you get to make a nice motorcycle like it's really cool man and if you don't have a pc and you're on the ps5 sadly you're stuck with him wearing basically the same clothes throughout the whole game until you reach an area with the snow and maybe this isn't a big issue for you but it was just something that i wish i could have kind of changed i know that he's in the end of the world he doesn't have much clothes to choose from but it would have been cool to see him change maybe some his jeans or get a new hat or something like that i thought it would just be kind of cool just to customize it a little bit more but you know it's a very small issue again if you're on pc you can mod it and, and you can do a whole bunch of cool things so the game is just really fun it's just uh, if you haven't played it and you have a lot of time and this is one thing that i want to stress this is a game that you should have time to play don't try to play this game in rush no play this game and try to enjoy it and take your time with it and explore everything that you can because it is worth exploring it is worth there's so much to do around the world or whatever and it's always good obviously to, to look into a game before you buy it so you don't waste your money because i've been burned many many times myself and i try not to think too hard about it i try to let things go i don't like to hold grudges or anything like that but you know that that's something you should check out and i think right now days gone is a game that is absolutely worth it in 2023 for example you should play it if you haven't played it play it at least once in your life to really enjoy the game really get a feel for it and, and just have fun you know there's also a lot of characters in the game that you get to meet, a lot of uh, camp leaders, uh, your friends, um, and your character starts to change. Uh, Deacon St. John, he begins to change throughout the story a bit. Um, and it's just, it, it's really cool. There's a lot to find. I don't want to spoil too many things, but... Um, the point of this video was that I wanted to just talk a little bit about Days Gone. I kind of wanted to throw my two two cents in there as well. But um, I know that apparently Ben Studios, the, the studio or the game developer that worked on the game, is currently working on a multiplayer game that is going to build upon the features uh, that were used in the world of Days Gone. So it's going to be a new IP. It's going to be um, a new world. 
and it's going to be building upon that. So if, I'm assuming it's going to play similar to Days Gone, like maybe the running, uh, the, the rolling, the shooting. I'm excited to see what Ben does next. I do wish that it was a Days Gone 2, but whatever Ben Studio wants to come out next that seems, well, whatever they want to do, I'm there to support it. I'm there to see it. I'm there to play it and buy it because uh, of the work that they did on Days Gone, and I think it was phenomenal, and, and I, I'm here to support Ben's studio. This game doesn't come without its flaws. You know, every game has flaws. There's going to be things you don't like. You know, it might be a little slow. It might be a slow burn for some of you, but regardless, I'd love to thank Ben Studios and Days Gone and all of the people that worked on the game and all of the actors because they did a wonderful job, and I know that I enjoyed the story tremendously. So many people out there did enjoy the game, and so many more people are going to enjoy the game in the near future because this game came out in 2019 and no it wasn't that long ago it was four years ago now but holy crap does it look like this game just released yesterday the graphics are insane and i bet when you play it on that pc whoo it's even more ridiculous so again thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed this uh little video little mini rant little mini is it worth it in 2023 for days gone if you're new here we have a lot of content on the channel we uh, have so much content coming to the channel and uh, there's going to be many other games that i'm going to be trying out in 2023 just to kind of see where they're at and make some more videos on it so thank you please subscribe please like and i will see you in the next video oh good good a little dehydrated and hungry. The cook tells me he's going down half our support. You are one dumb son of a bitch! Okay, good. I'm glad he made it. St. John out.